True. Peace. Ken's San Antonio. San Antonio officer kills two after a driver opens fire at a traffic stop. Man, peep the slang. That's what the police say. Two people were killed and a police officer and a third person injured Friday today. And the officer pulled over a car for a traffic stop and a casual conversation escalated to gunfire. The police said. Police Chief William McManus basing comments on body cam video without audio that he watched after the shooting said the driver pulled a gun and began firing at the officer and the officer was hit in his hand. There were three people in the car. McManus, who emphasized his comments were preliminary, said a passenger and the driver was shot and another passenger was taken to the hospital also with a gunshot. Images posted by News 4SA showed a young woman in a stretcher. The news station reported she had been shot in the chest. McManus, McManus told reporters at the scene that she was the third person in the car. The officer is very, very lucky to be alive at the close range, having been shot in the hand and not somewhere else, McManus said. The shooting comes one day after a gunman opened fire at the San Antonio International Airport. The gunman was killed by a police officer who confronted him as he was driving the wrong way. The gunman was killed. There were no other injuries, but the airport and areas around it went into lockdown. Official said he matched the description of a man who had been shooting from a highway overpass. In Friday shooting today, McManus said the officer walked up to a truck and for a few minutes had a casual conversation with the driver. McManus said the conversation appeared casual because he did see any excited mind motioning by the officer. Okay. Then at some point, I'm not sure why the driver, I don't either why he pulled the gun and started firing at the officer, McManus said. Shots hit the officer's hand and possibly his radio. Y'all gonna see the video. He retreated backwards, returned to fire, McManus said. McManus said the officer, who he did not immediately identify, has been on the force five years and was alone when he stopped the truck. McManus did not know the officer condition. He said the two people killed were male. The officer, despite his hand energy, managed a reload of his firearm. Y'all see the video, man? Peep the slang. Occupied by two men and one woman. Hey, something didn't in your pocket, bro. Huh? Immediately after making contact with the driver, the officer instructed the front seat passenger to stop going through his pockets. Shortly after, the officer asked the driver to turn off the car and place the keys where the officer can see them out of concern that the driver may drive away. The officer then asked for the ID of the passenger. And the officer asked the driver to step out of the car after he says he smells marijuana. Both the driver and the passenger are resistant to the officer's request. The passenger in the vehicle is heard asking the backseat passenger for a gun. The suspect's gunfire hits the officer in the hand. Gunfire also strikes his police radio. The officer takes cover behind his patrol unit, dropping his weapon in the process. The officer retrieves his firearm from the ground, dropping his radio in the process, and returns fire. Though his gun continues to jam because he is unable to firmly grip the gun as a result of the gunshot wounds in his hand. While the individuals in the car cease fire, the officer continues to shoot as he sees movement inside the vehicle and fears he may be shot again by the suspect.
The officer retrieved his radio, realizing it was broken, and urged his bystanders to call police. Shots fired. Call the police! Call the police! Call the police! Call the police! My radio's down! Throw my radio down! Here is a relevant portion of the dash camera video synced with the officer's body camera video. Okay, I'm gonna <laughs> Shots fired, shots fired, shots fired! 